Hi guys, well the work on the CX650 Euro uh, continues. Um, I put the, the speedo on and all the, the handlebar uh, equipment is on, the switches, the throttle, the mirrors. Uh, made up uh, the brackets for the front guard and um, now I'm just been into the, the wiring of the bike. Uh, uh, the wiring's complete. Uh, I've just all of it, I've left it sort of open for you to have a look at. I've just uh, got to shroud all this in the ducting on each side of the bike, tidy all that up. Um, waiting, waiting on a uh, brake uh, pressure switch to wire this one into. Uh, the exhaust system is going to come, come down the side here like this into these resonators. Uh, you know, like we've got you know this a bend will go in there connect on here and then it'll probably come out somewhere back here just curve out there so um, yeah let's just have a look at uh, what I've actually done with the wiring just um, checking the wiring out here um, motor gadgets just uh, a press on the uh, start button and that fires the motor gadget up lights come onto the speedo um, we've got uh, uh, blinkers Left, one press off, right, blow air horn, um, lights, uh, here, headlight comes on, press it again, and you get the high beam with the blue indicator into the speedo. hold it on and the lights go off. Uh, the brakes, uh, the rear brakes not wired in, I need a pressure switch in here but the front one is, that's wired in. That comes on single wire that goes back to the, uh, the rear tail light um, so it just gives more voltage for when you uh, use the brake. And then two clicks for off and that goes off. So having a look at some of the wiring that I've done uh, yeah, like it's calf racer, most of the wiring is stored down below on the standard bike. I've made up this rear cowl and housed a lot of the, the uh, electrics underneath here, so we'll have a look at that. I'll just bring this off, it's not bolted on yet, but uh, I just take the, uh, the rear light off. That comes off like that. And in there, I've, in here, I've got the, the lithium battery and the, uh, the solenoid, starter solenoid. Um, also, uh, the main earth I put in here, which goes onto your frame. I've made a really good earth on here, a little terminal strip for some of the, the rear um, negatives or neutrals. And um, on the starting motor, this uh, starting motor solenoid, the one I got from Revival Cycles was different than this one. I got this one from Murray's Carbs. So the main fuse is here and these two come from the regulator rectifier to charge the battery and this one here is the is basically the switch from the motor gadget from the, uh, the start starts uh, output to fire the, the, the solenoid. The problem that I had with this particular solenoid was uh, on the one I got from Revival Cycle they did have secondary uh, voltage power supply um, which powered my speeder. But on this one I've uh, configured the auxiliary output number two to come on when the ignition comes on. So if I press the start button you can see it flashing now, it's just it armed the alarm. So I'll press the start button, go through a checkup sequence, brings on uh, the start, start uh, output, and um, brings in on the ignition, that's the ignition output there, that brown one. Uh, the white one is for the fan, and the red one is for my speedo power. Speedo power then goes through a one amp fuse uh, to power the, the speedo. 
um, I've using the on this particular bike I, I haven't used the ray sand because I've got virtually two of these units original units so I'm going with the original unit on this bike um, so that's genuine Honda um, uh, ignition systems and all I've had to do for that was provide the uh, the ignition wire into where the black and white wire used to go to power the uh, ignition so here we looking at the uh, the motor gadget unit motor gadget M unit blue which is uh, started from your phone or you can have a, a, a override which I'm waiting for an ignition switch to arrive to wire that in but uh, all your outputs are here and all your inputs are on there I put all the inputs on this uh, on the right hand side all the outputs on the left hand side um, you get power from the battery and a good ground to the M unit um, I think it's a good idea actually when purchasing the um, the M unit blue is to buy the wiring kit as well. I think it's about 90 bucks for the for the wiring, but well worth it. All the all the right colours are there. Okay, up on the handlebars, um, we have the uh, throttle's been done. Um, bra brakes, I've got to get cables into there and bleed the brakes. Uh, I've got a three push button switch here on the right hand side and the left hand side. And I've got a uh, override for the um, uh, fan, manual override. So if I press the start button, speedo comes on. I've got my old uh, warning light on. I'm in neutral, and um, I can go through the the menu of the speedo here with this button. So I can look at what voltage is on the bike, uh, temperature when it comes up. But all rev per minutes. Another subset of uh, menu there. Here is the start button itself. If I press that again, the bike will start up. And as soon as I start the bike, the lights will come on. Um, on this side as well, I just press that again on the light one. I can go high beam. I press it for a long time and the lights go off. Uh, here is my uh, override for the fan. And on this side I've got the uh, the blinkers left and right and the horn. Uh, this one here, the LED is for the lights, if I put the lights on that's low beam so I know that the, the lights are on at low beam and that's high beam is indicated on the speedo gauge. Hold it on and the lights go off. Double tap on here. Whoops. And the uh, and power goes off to the bike. Front in the headlight we have um, all the wiring is tucked away in here. I've just got to tidy that up a bit and get that headlight on. Well that's the uh, wiring all finished. The um, Sheathing has been put on to uh, over the cables on the inputs and outputs right up to the headlight. I like to use this sheathing here. It's um, you get it, I got it off eBay, but um, it rolls up like that and sort of folds on itself. And you can put it over the top of your cables once they're in, you know. But uh, yeah, no, it comes out really quite neat. I'm quite happy with that. Well, that's it for the wiring. Um, she's all done. Um, I'm just waiting on a few. I made up a few brackets for the uh, gear linkage there at the chromers. The uh, the cooling tube, the steel co cooling tube on the left hand side, that's getting re-chromed. Um, yeah, the next thing really that is to get the exhaust done, uh, get some coolant in it. It's had it's got oil in it, and uh, get the brake cables done and get her fired up and, and going. So yeah, on with the next thing, the exhaust system. Well, the next uh, challenge is the exhaust system. Probably the most difficult challenge for me on this bike build. Um, yeah, the last one was just basically the curve coming out of the exhaust, made up a spacer between that and the exhaust and that was it done. But this one I'm doing a whole lot. Now, this bike is actually based 
on the 2021 winner of uh, CAF races on Racer TV. I'll put a picture up there for you to have a look at. But the exhaust system comes down and the exhaust system, I just welded that cone on there, but the exhaust system on that bike actually sits below the, uh, the engine. And I was looking at it, you know, I wanted to make it the same, but I thought if you hit a bump on that, you're going to, you're going to bottom out on the, uh, on the exhaust system. So I've been uh, going to move it up to the side here like this and uh, yeah it'll sort of yeah it'll come to about there and I'm just uh, cutting up pieces of uh, these are uh, 38 mil uh, 45 degree uh, tubes and just I'll, I'll get the right shape and um, just tigger up and uh, get it welded. Okay, uh, all the, uh, the exhaust system has been tacked up. I'm happy with the position. So uh, now it's time to start uh, fully welding the joints uh, of, the, uh, of the exhaust. Well guys, uh, the exhaust system is now complete after a lot of uh, fiddling around, um, mainly getting the right look, the right shape on the, on the, uh, the front, front pipe leading into the resonator. Um, you know, I, did, um, I didn't want to put these resonators underneath the bike like I have seen done uh, because I think it would have made it too low, you know. I think went over a bump, I said, I reckon you uh, might bottom out on the uh, resonators. So I've mounted them up alongside and brought them along here and cut them out this way. Uh, my brake and my gear shifts all have plenty of clearance. Um, but uh, yeah, the final test will be once we get the bike on the road and just see how it fits to the rider and, uh, and yeah, what, the, what it sounds like as well. So uh, yeah, the bike now is pretty much mechanically complete. About the only thing I've got to do is get the uh, brake hoses made up for the brakes and fill them with full oil and bleed them. So uh, next week I'll be putting some uh, fuel into it and firing the motor up, tuning the motor up, and uh, yeah, get it on the uh, on the road. It's got to go to Regency Park because it's been unregistered for so long. Uh, in South Australia, you've got to uh, take it in and get it ID'd. They put it on a computer. Uh, I know it hasn't been stolen because uh, you know, I've already done a search on that. But it's, it's got to go in there and get uh, that sorted out. And she'll be on the road. So, uh, yeah, next thing I'll give you a bit of a look around, uh, just a, a bit of a closer look at the bike uh, now that she's uh, complete. Okay, let's take a look at uh, the bike. This is a uh, a 1983 Honda CX650. Um, yeah, I picked it up and it was in a pretty sorry state. Really, the only thing that was usable on that bike was the the motor and the frame. The wheels, the front wheel was buckled. So uh, the wheels on it are actually off a 500 turbo. Uh, the badges on the side of the motor, they were missing. Somebody had snavelled them and um, I got it two left hand ones and they were they were sort of broken I had to get them welded up and uh, dressed them back but uh, yeah they're really really hard to find those engine labels but I'm, I'm glad I found the, the two I did actually but um, yeah you can see the exhaust system there that may have to be tuned once we get the bike running uh, the forks are off a 1999 Kawasaki uh, ZR600. Uh, it's got Pico brakes, uh, six piston uh, caliper brakes. Uh, on the handlebars, we've got the Brembo uh, radial um, uh, master cylinder. Uh, switches, a lot of this stuff just come off eBay. Uh, grips, the uh, 
Speedo is a uh, motor gadget Speedo. With the, it's got an inbuilt taco in the secondary menu. Uh, the clip-ons are Tomaselli's. So yeah, really, really happy with the way she's turned out. Um, we will remove the um, the original air monoshock uh, shocky and fit it. Uh, I think it's a, it's off a CBR 900. Coming around the other side, see the left uh, right left hand side um, rear linkages. That's they've all been chromed. Water pipes been chromed. Really chromed. Oh, I did use the original horn. That was another plus that I got off this bike. The frame, the engine, and the horn. So yeah, that's a bit of a look over it, guys. Uh, next thing's to get some water in this, get some fuel in it, and uh, start firing her up. So the first thing I do when firing up the motor is uh, remove the rocket cover and just make sure that the uh, oil is getting up through uh, to the rockers on both sides. So we'll give this a spin. So you see the oil coming out of here and now cooling down the bottom. It's coming out of here and spewing out there. So that's great to see that. So. Uh, we can, uh, the next thing to go for is to get petrol in it and uh, get it fired up. Okay, just finished topping up the radiator. I'm using uh, Newlon uh, green uh, coolant uh, premix. Uh, yeah, there's no mixing required with this. So on with the uh, radiator cap. Okay, uh, get some fuel in there. Okay, <coughs> I've got some fuel into it. So let's turn her on for the first time. No ride ready. And we'll uh, keep her in the gut and see what happens. Oh. Spark plugs are going to be good here. Not in. <laughs> okay, the plugs are in, fuel's on. Let's uh, kick her in the guts, see what we've got. No ride ready. Choke. Okay, she's up and running.